change my life. I don't want to do what God says. I want to be my own king. But God says this, it's not by your will, by my will be done. Because God's word is God gave you life, you can take it away. So turn from your sins in his bench. Today, today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow, you're not promised. Michael Jackson didn't know that you were going to die of drugs. He was waiting, he was waiting for that opportunity to sing like he used to come in the past. He tried drugs, drugs didn't help him. You see, you think your sin will help you? It won't help you on the day of judgment. Amen. God will send you into a place of torment. Because God is a judge, he loves you. But he's also just. He won't let your sins go unpunished. Just as the judge in this world won't let a criminal or racist go free. Think about it, Jane and Finch. If you die, you stand before God who is holy. Will you make it into this God's kingdom? You see, the kingdom of God is at hand. Your soul. Your soul is, is worth it to God. He is willing to send his soul to Jesus to die on the cross, on the street. Isn't that love that you're worthy of death, but someone steps into the courtroom, breaks open, and says, I love you so much, I sold everything. You know what? I'm willing to pay for every single thing that he's done. That is what God has done. God has done the work. God has already proven himself. God has revealed himself through creation. God is already, has already tested in truth. The Bible is already true. Because all the prophecies are coming true. The men will be lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. Amen. The, the men will be boastful, sinful, hating and hating one another. You see, Jesus Christ is coming back. And when he comes back, he's not going to be the lamb. He's not going to be beaten through. He's coming to judge the world in righteousness. Amen, amen. He's coming to slay all amen. those who will not believe in the gospel. Amen. How will you do on the day when the, when the one whose eyes are like a flame of fire amen. sees you and exposes you amen. in front of that, that big screen TV on the day of judgment? Amen, amen. amen. All your sins have already repent, been repent. On the, for the day of judgment when all the secrets of men will be made bare. I'm not better than you. One day I will die and stand before God. I will give an account for my life. But guess what? I know that to get to heaven, it's not based on anything that I do. It's based on Jesus Christ and what he's done for me. I have a hope. I have an assurance that Jesus Christ loves me. And he has filled me with the Holy Spirit. He filled me with eternal life, which is a relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, Amen. My friends, my brothers and sisters of the human family, what do you love so much? What sin do you love so much you're willing to die? Is it lying? Is it drugs? Is it pornography? Is it friends? Is it money? Do you love money more than you love God? On that day, your money will not save you. On that day, your money will not save you. Religion will not save you. Your good works cannot save you. It's either Jesus Christ has paid for your sins or you pay for a sin. You, 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 you commit the crime, you do the time. In this world, how much more God? God is holy, God is just. He will not let a sin go unpunished. You see? God is, God is saying, repent. God is saying from heaven, repent. I don't want to send you to the place of torment which I've prepared for Satan and his demons. But you see, our generation is just like Noah's generation. Our generation was, was the same as Noah's generation. You see, Noah's generation, God said to Noah, build an ark. Because humanity is so sinful and wicked. They're loving. They're drinking. They're smoking. They're doing all sorts of bad things. They hate me. So you know what? These people who sleep around with these spiritual beings, I'm going to destroy every single one of them. God said that my spirit will no longer remain with man because he is mortal. So God said to Noah, I'm going to destroy this world with a flood. And Noah, I'm pretty sure, the Bible says he repented, that he preached repentance for 120 years. And the people said he was crazy. But the, the wind came, and the rain fell, and it was too late. The earth was closed, and the people died and perished in the dead. There's a God.
garden. My name is Steve, My and uh, I do evangelism because one day after a church convention that I was at, when God was really moving and and God added boldness to my to me, and I, I was able to worship God more boldly. And then after the convention, it was the Victoria Day Monday. I was at home. I think just reading some scripture or whatever I was doing, I'm not sure, but all of a sudden I heard in my spirit, get your Bible and go downtown. 